here we are. Uh, we're going to be talking about a browser. Some of you may have heard of it. It's kind of been on the rise lately. Uh, and there's, there's obviously a lot of awesome things about many browsers. Uh, you know, I personally just use Safari. Uh, granted, that might be basic, but it, it just works, right? Uh, but this is a new kind of browser. You know, this browser really, really tries to include um, AI in the way you browse and the way you search. And I think that's something that's really cool and might really be able to help us in the future. Uh, so the browser is Arc. And, you know, again, like you might recognize that name. It's kind of been a, a bigger talk of the town lately. Uh, and there's a lot of awesome things about it. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about it. Uh, we're going to go over some, some of the awesome features, uh, how to use it, what all the buttons do, stuff like that. You know, kind of a beginner's guide to Arc, um, as well as how the AI is. Like, does it work? How good is it? Uh, stuff like that. So let's hop right into it. All right, so let's actually start uh, from the top. Let's go to the App Store. Uh, and actually, completely on a random note, you'll see right here uh, the sports app. This is by Apple. So let me know in the comments if you want me to cover that too, because I totally can. It's a new app, so, you know, might want to go over it. But anyways, if we head into the App Store here and we just go into the search and we search Arc, uh, you'll see the first option for me is Arc Search, which is the app. And you'll see, this is the app right here. Uh, now, of course, I've downloaded it before, but I kind of wanted to go through a little bit of a setup process with you, so I have deleted it. Uh, but you'll just download it here. Uh, just a couple little pictures. Actually, as a matter of fact, there's some, some little hints to things we'll be going over, so we'll go over that in a second. But uh, if we do open up the app, you'll see it plays a really cool animation. Now, obviously, you can't tell this part, uh, but when it did play, I did, like, the phone did vibrate, so just a little bit of an extra added touch. Uh, but you'll see it's, it's a really pretty modern-looking icon, and it just says, very simple, get what you want twice as fast. Uh, so let's click, let's go. Uh, you'll see, search quickly and privately. Use Browse for me to summarize dozens of web pages at once, or search on your own without ads, trackers, or banners. So Browse For Me is actually one of the AI features, which I will get to in just a second. Now I am going to set this as the default browser, so let me do that and I'll be right back at you. All right, as soon as you get back in and jump back into the app, uh, I haven't touched anything. This is the next page that shows up. Uh, and you'll see it actually does um, kind of, sort of hop you right into uh, the different AI features. Now I'm actually going to just finish up the setup here and then I will get to these just cause I wanna kinda show it in a bit of a different order. All right, so we're back. I have just gone on something pretty simple, just uh, the Apple website, apple.com. And uh, the first thing I wanna show you is there's very little, like if I swipe, nothing pops up at the top. Uh, it's a very clean and organized menu. And you'll see at the bottom, we have three uh, buttons. Uh, we have this button, this button, and this button. Now, if we click on this one, this is actually how you're going to access your recent tabs. Uh, and so you'll see uh, these two are actually, this is a quote by The Verge, um, you know, kind of advertisement for art. And you'll see it says, click the download link. Now that is for if you have a, a Mac of some kind, you can actually download this piece of software. Uh, but this for the iPhone will not do anything if you, if you click uh, download. Uh, but anyways, this is kind of your um, recent tabs. And if you want to clear them, you just swipe up like that and it clears them easy peasy. <laughs> well, I say that, okay, there we go. And so you'll see it clears it just like that. So let's go back to apple.com for a second. Uh, so the next button you'll see is the plus. Now when you click this, this brings you to um, just the search thing. You'll see I searched Apple, so it actually does give me different recommendations uh, and you'll see really awesome touch. If I swipe, it'll go ahead and insert it. So if I wanted to go to apple.com slash redeem, swipe, and then if I were to click go, it would just bring me straight there. Uh, so really awesome. So that's what that button does. This one is going to be your settings and just other uh, things you can switch around and change here. So this is all website. This is like each setting affects this website, right? So the reader, for some websites, it won't work, uh, like apple.com, for example. But it, you know, it does what the name is. It reads for you. <laughs> Summarize is an AI feature I'll get to in a second. Copy link, obviously I can copy the website link and then share brings up the share menu where I can send it to other people. Now, a really awesome feature 
is actually uh, this one called Find on Page. So if I click that, it will now um, bring up this text box, and if I were to search iPad, for example, uh, it'll go over here and bring me straight to the iPad category. So essentially, really awesome. <laughs> Uh, it, it just goes through the whole website, and so, like, say, for example, if you were on some sort of uh, website which had answers to a math quiz and you needed a keyword to show you where to go, you just search the keyword in there, and it brings you straight to that point on the website. Uh, so super easy uh, and really quite useful, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and then up here at the search bar at the top, you know, you have your typical arrows your favorite, like the little star button, and then you can refresh the website, as well as click on this one to uh, search different websites. So, uh, you'll see down here, it just says gift arc. So if I click on that, um, it's just sharing this app with other people. Uh, so if you wanted to send this app to someone else for them to try, you do it like that. Now for settings, if we click on that, uh, you'll see uh, a couple different uh, buttons. Uh, number one is block ads block cookie banners, block trackers, uh, swipe to navigate, so that's just navigating through the different websites. You can have it either from anywhere or screen edges. I just leave it on anywhere. Uh, default site settings, uh, same kind of thing there. Uh, and then default search engine. Uh, obviously you can use ARC with different search engines. I'm actually gonna use DuckDuckGo as I find it typically more secure. Archive and active tabs, clear browsing data, and just some other other information like that. Uh, so that's really the settings menu. And that's all it is. Like, there's not that many buttons. Um, this is sort of a, an up-and-coming app. Relatively new. Uh, and so there isn't a ton of uh, features. So you'll see I have a couple different tabs open. Uh, just so we can kind of play around with it. So let's say we want to search for how to open um, a coconut, for example. So let me type that in. Now there's a couple different things we can do. Uh, we can click go and that will just kind of bring me to a DuckDuckGo search and you'll see we have a couple different uh, things on how to open a coconut. Uh, but for this how to open a coconut, you'll see a button beside here that says browse for me and this is one of the cool AI features. If we click on it, it will actually generate a whole AI website in, in just in seconds like you saw there. Uh, and it will actually, it, you know, it's got a couple pictures up here at the top. Uh, but it's got, you know, steps listed here, super easy. You know, it, it tells you, like, it gives you a source, uh, top search results, tools, draining, cracking. Like, it, it really does give you everything. And if you want to go even further into it, it will actually give you a list of different websites you can also visit. And so, you know, there's no ads here. Like, it's just a website with what you need and nothing else. Uh, and I think that's one of the coolest things, right? So... Say for example, let's go over here to different websites. Um, here's one of the next AI features, which is actually something called Pinch to Summarize. So let's say we go to this website here, and it's a wiki, you know, how to open a coconut with a hammer, oven, or microwave, which I actually didn't know you could do it with a microwave. Anyways, what you do is you just pinch, and it will start summarizing the whole website. And you'll see just like that, very, nice modern looking theme I guess you could say uh, and, it, and it just tells you uh, this is the steps are obviously listed here some facts about the website uh, and just stuff, stuff like that so it's a very simple and easy way to take advantage of AI to basically do the hard work for you so that way you don't have to spend uh, extra time looking all right now another thing uh is actually incognito now this is actually a brand new feature that was recently added to the app um and granted there might be even more features which are being added as this video is being recorded again this is a new app new things are coming out all the time now you'll see right up here by the search bar uh and again to get to the search bar you just click the plus button just like that uh, and you'll see there's these little eyes and all you have to do to enter incognito mode is press them and there you go. So now you can, you know, search for whatever. Like if we go to, to apple.com, you'll see it'll still bring us there without any issues. Uh, and it does say incognito up there at the top. Uh, and so there you go. That's incognito. Obviously, your search results aren't right here. And if you want to leave, all you do is press the eyes again. And there you go. You're back into uh, everything else. So pretty simple, easy, awesome. And again, as these start to stack up, like mine have, you can just swipe them and clear them. 
just like you would an iPhone. <laughs> it's very awesome, intuitive, uh, easy to use, and it looks nice too. Like we can't forget, this is a really nice looking app. Alrighty, that's been it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, the Arc browser, a lot of awesome things about it. Really, really cool. Uh, and, I, and I really can't wait to see where AI kind of leads to in the future. Now I know not everyone is for AI, uh, but honestly, like in a lot of different ways, as you've just seen here, AI can actually help uh, and make things easier. Like when it comes to searching or searching, <laughs> uh, my point is there's a lot of awesome things AI can be used for. You know, ChatGPT, while it might not be the most accurate, it's it's still getting there, right? Like it's it's getting a little bit better each and every day. Uh, and that's what's kind of, that's what's important, right? So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, and if you did, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell as it helps me out a ton. Uh, let me know, do you want to, do you want to see more like this? You know, me reviewing app, you know, just different kinds of, uh, things like that. Then, then include AI, uh, to potentially make it easier for us humans. Uh, but yeah, that's been it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.